everybody, what is going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another lure making challenge. For those of you that do not know what this series is, this is basically where we take a random material and me and my brother go head to head and make fishing lures. We then take those fishing lures out and see which lure catches the better fish. So Isaiah, what materials will we be using to make our lures today? Sticks and rocks. That is right, people. We are using sticks and rocks, two very basic elements that you can find pretty much anywhere, and we're going to try to make fishing lures out of them. Let's get going. In addition to the sticks and rocks, we have a number of other things we can use to help make our lures. We have some gold thread right here, five minute epoxy, steel leader, some wire, some feathers, snap swivels, treble hooks, and a razor blade. All right, Isaiah, you have 20 minutes to complete your bait. Your time starts now. All right, so as you guys already know, all we have is sticks and rocks. So I'm thinking, Carving rocks, I'm just not gonna go do that. And I, I've i been eyeing this little piece of wood, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a popper. Shaving down the stick right now to get the right shape. As you can see, it's starting to come pretty good. Man, these look are sharp. Oh, this stick is forever. Goodness gracious. I feel like most of your time is just going to be whittling down the stick. Yeah. Oh, we're going to leave that. That's, that's going to be fun right there. Alright guys, so pretty much using the utility knife is not going to work to cut all this. So, I might say... You're using a bread knife? Yeah. I'm using a bread knife. It's serrated, so I guess it'll work better. Wait, let's just keep rolling. <laughs> that never happened. Like a pretty good progress right now. It's still taking you a while, isn't it? It is. I think you can probably break that off, can't you? Try. You guys, you're technically using a rock, so that counts. Yeah. What are you doing? Drinking a smoothie. Drinking a smoothie? Who's, who's lure? Are you guys done Rock's yet? making a lure. Move back. Isaiah's making a lure? What are you making? It finally broke off! So, the reason I cut this off is before it was way too long. This should be perfect. Now we're going to attach the hooks and all that good stuff. Making a loop with the wire, so it'll be one loop that will hold whatever the hooks. So it'll be one loop, then another loop. That's 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 essentially what is going to look like a little bit. That's what we have so far. Yeah. All right, so far looks okay. Needs a little work. Yeah, a little. Put it on there, make sure it's over that. Okay, there we go. Okay, right, you I absolutely need You're secure on the wire with thread? So, okay, I'm not sure if you guys really get the principle here. We just pretty much epoxy to a kingdom come with this thing. And now we're just I'm, just, I'm just making sure that stays where it's supposed to be. All right, let the epoxy dry. So Isaiah, you finished your lure. It took you 21 minutes and 30 seconds. We were supposed to only do 20 minutes, but I'll give you I'll give you that extra minute. Uh, the one thing you can't do is you can't paint your bait. All right, guys. So my brother made this thing right here, which is some sort of a topwater stick thing. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm going to make a simple jigging spoon using rocks. For those of you who do not know what a jigging spoon is, it's basically just a piece of heavy metal with a hook attached to it. You throw it out in the water, you jig it up and down, and that flashy piece of metal attracts the fish. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna make that exact same lure just with rocks. Now I'm going to be using sandstone, and the nice thing about sandstone is that it is pretty easy to work with, but the downside to sandstone is that it is very crumbly. So when it comes to durability, this lure might not be the best, Nevertheless, we're gonna give it a shot. So basically all I'm gonna do is take this rock and hit it against this rock and try and break off a nice sized fragment. I am not getting the right size fragment. Oh, here we go. Nope. I'm gonna go with that. All right guys, as you can see here, I got a little fragment. I'm going to be making a fairly small jigging spoon, so this should work just fine. As you can see, it's very thin. So I have to be careful when I'm shaping it. I'm gonna try and shape this piece into something that resembles a jigging spoon, and to do that, I'm going to be rubbing it against another piece of sandstone. The nice thing about sandstone is that it is abrasive, so if you rub two sandstones together, it acts like sandpaper, and it should be pretty easy to shape. But like I mentioned, sandstone is brittle, so I have to be careful I don't break this thing. It's going to be a little bit fragile. This is gonna take a bit. 
All right, so I got my basic shape down. It's time to attach a hook. Now, obviously, I can't drill into this piece. It's too fragile. So what I'm going to do is attach a piece of wire on the outside that has a loop in each end, and I can attach my hook to that and my line. So I'm going to get a piece of wire here. Let's see, kind of measure this and see where that's going to be. That'll be about right there. All right, so I got this little thing right here. The next step is going to be to attach this with epoxy. Seven minutes in. Seven minutes in, all right. All right, so the epoxy setting, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this thing real quick. Go with a standard silver on this thing. I also got a bit of a black color here, so I'll add a little black to this. No. Alrighty guys, the lure is finished. Whew. It looks like garbage, but hopefully it catches a fish. Alrighty guys, we are out here at the test pond. This is going to be where we're going to be fishing with our bait. Before we do any fishing, we want to test these lures out and see how they actually look in the water. And we're going to start with Isaiah's top water. How are you feeling about your lure, Isaiah? I feel pretty good about it. I mean, it has potential, but I think Brandy's made happy. Alright, let's see what it looks like in the water. Not too bad, not too bad. I think a bass had hit that. Alright guys, so this is my lure. I'm going to test it out. It turned out pretty decent, as you can see. Uh, it just looks like a basic jigging spoon, except it is a rock. Let's put it in the water and see what it looks like. Got it? Mm -hmm. I'm actually really impressed with the action of this thing. It's got a nice fluttering action in the water. Alrighty guys, we got our baits on our rods. The pond is looking fantastic. We are about ready to commence fishing. We each got a GoPro on. The rules for this challenge are very simple. We will have 30 minutes, and whoever catches the most fish during that 30 minutes We'll win. Let's get at it. All right, let's go. All right, our time starts now. We just had saw some fish schooling over here, so we're both gonna try and get in on the action. Come over. Oh, got him. First cast, first cast. No way. All right, first fish of the day, guys. Instant on that little spoon. That was crazy. That fish just crushed it. Oh, he's off. Come here, buddy. Yeah, I got him. First cast, I literally smoked a bass. <gasps> he swung, no! Why did I pull it out of the water? He crushed it. He was calling right for it. No, he hit it, dude. You got, I'm not sure if you guys saw that on camera, but it's had a bass fall my bait right in. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. I got to put something together. Isaiah's making me nervous. Yes, got one. Yes. Guys, I did not just do that. No, he pulled out. All right, so Isaiah's lure just broke over there. It looks like uh, the hooks came out. I gotta get at least another fish under my belt. I already caught one, but I still, there we go, fish. That's not a, oh, that doesn't count. The bluegill count? Oh, bluegill don't count. Oh no, guys. This is what just happened. So we're going to tie this to my D-loop. That's, yeah, that's, that's what's happening right now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, bass just hit it right there. Okay, what'd you figure out? You don't want to know. It's a Frankenstein thing. Hey, if it works, it works. We got a bass. He's hitting it consistently. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Please don't drop that. No, no, no. no! My hook stayed on. How? That's a that is a miracle from heaven right there, people. Cool. You fixed your bait. Oh, it's coming after it. Oh! Come on! Lost him. Seriously, I can't afford to lose any bass right now. I got to get all the bass I can get. I only have one under my belt. 
and I gotta make something happen. Oh, there was a bass right there. Oh my, I was literally lifting that bait out of the water. He smoked it. Hit it again. Come on. Got him. Got him that time. Oh, that's another nice chunk. Wow. There we go. Two fish on a, 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 literally a spray painted rock. I mean, that's pretty nuts. All right, guys. Whew. Second fish. Let's keep going. That bait literally just hit the water and I had a fish on. Instant. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. What do I have? Oh, green sunfish. All right. Uh, I'll tell you, this is stressful. Even doing a challenge against my little brother. We're fishing, you know, a, a nice pond with plenty of fish in it. Yeah, like right there. <gasps> no! How? How did that happen? Got him. That's number three. This bank's hot, man. They're, they're all up in here. These fish are strong, man. Whoo! Oh, barely hooked that guy. Literally, just barely hooked him. Bang! Number three on the rock lure. Again, this is a spray-painted rock with a hook attached to it. I'll take it. Granted, we are fishing, you know, very good conditions. This pond is loaded full of really aggressive fish. And these fish will bite just about anything if it's presented in, a, in, a tra in an attractive way. Well guys, the challenge is over. Isaiah, that was a little stressful for you, was it not? It was very stressful. Isaiah hooked up with his first fish and his lure promptly broke. So we jimmy rigged it and, and was still able to fish with it. How many uh, total hookups did you have? I had four total hookups. He had four total hookups on a piece of wood with treble hooks to it. It's pretty impressive. I was able to catch three nice bass with uh, a spray painted rock. Overall, I say it was a very good day. That obviously means though that I won this challenge. Now we're now we're even. We've each won a challenge. We'll have to uh, have a rematch. I beat you twice. You know what? It's fine. It, it, no one's no. keeping no one's keeping track. It's fine. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. If you want to support the channel, you can check out my line of swim baits. You can also buy some merch. I also put some links down below to the gear that I use. These are Amazon affiliate links, and if you buy something through these links, I get a little bit of kickback, and it helps me to continue to make videos. I will leave you with that, and as always, stay hooked. I'm hot and sweaty. I'm going to do something about it. Yeah,